everyone and welcome back to another lecture of Swift UI Crash Course series. So in this video, we'll be discussing about states in Swift UI. So uh, before understanding states, let us first understand why do we actually need them. So as you already know that in Swift or in any, any language, structures are immutable. That means that if there is a variable and if you have assigned some value to it inside a structure, then you cannot change the value at later point of the time. So uh, let's try to understand that with an example. So as you can see on my screen, I have a structures created and on the right hand side, you can see I have a counter equal to zero and then a increment button. If you tap on increment button, we need to increase the count by one. So this is the uh, project and uh, this is the code for it. So we just have a variable named counter which stores the value and then we have a text that shows the value of the counter and then we have a button uh, on click of this button we have to increase the value of the counter by one if we want to increase the value of the counter you know that we just need to do counter is equal to counter plus one all right so you can see here that we are getting an error the error says cannot assign to property self is immutable. So what does this actually mean? So Xcode is saying that you cannot increment the value of the counter because it is inside a structure and by default structures are immutable. That means you cannot change the value of any variable declared inside it. So how can we get such functionality so that uh, whenever we update the value, you can uh, see it here in the real time for this. Swift UI has provided you state property wrapper. So to make a variable a state, you just need to add at the rate state in the uh, variable declaration. So now that we have made it a state, you can see that the error is gone. And now when I click on this increment button, you can see the count is being increased and we are only updating the value in the counter variable and you can see the text is auto updating itself. You can see that Swift UI by itself is taking care of the uh, updating the UI. So that's one benefit of using Swift UI that it is reactive and whenever you make any changes in the variable, the UI will be redrawn. So if you have declared counter as a state, so whenever the value in this state changes, the view will be redrawn. So this is how Swift UI works. So how do Swift UI states work? Because we are saying that structures are immutable and now we are saying that we can make changes in the value by using state. So actually uh, when we use state, it is not stored directly inside the structure. Instead, it is managed by a separate object typically created by Swift UI framework. And under the hood, Swift UI uses a combination of property wrappers and combined framework to manage the state changes and trigger view updates. But for now, you should understand that these states are actually uh, stored somewhere in the background and are being managed by Swift UI frameworks only. So this is how the state works. And uh, it's not like you can only use it with the integer. You can even make it a boolean and store true and false in this. So uh, any data type can be declared as a state. And if you made it counter, uh, then we have to change it here to counter is equal to not counter, all right? And here uh, we cannot directly use a boolean. So let's just say if counter, then say true, else false. So, uh, now that the preview is reloading, you can see that uh, not only integers, but we can even use boolean or any other data type that you want. You can use it with states. So I think that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.